Hi, I'm Becky. And I'm Danielle. Welcome to our website. Today we're going to discuss the analysis of our third picture at breakfast. This extract was first broadcast on the 22nd of December 2013. This show is broadcast every weekday morning from 6 o'clock till 10. So who is the show's target audience then? Well, according to Helm FM's target demographic data, more females and males tune into the show. These people are generally aged between 25 and 45. Who is this generally runs on the score of them? Exactly. How do we know the sort of content of Big John at Breakfast is suitable for this audience? Big John at Breakfast broadcasts the latest chart-topping music to old favourites. The presenters discuss topical subjects, and there are competitions and opportunities for the audience to get involved. Do all these elements to the show contribute to making it appeal to the target audience then? Yeah, even something as simple as the dialect of the presenters helps the show to appeal. I guess the fact that all the presenters are from the show helps too. Yeah, it helps them to connect with the audience and therefore helps the audience to relate to the show. And since the show is broadcast by the number one commercial radio station in South Yorkshire, it is great for the presenters to be in love with their home county just like the listeners. It also helps convergence when the adverts are trying to entice the audience with their products and services. For example, the Amigo Learn and the Medawall adverts were both really appropriate because they were broadcast just before Christmas when they were most necessary to the audience. Yeah, a lot of South Yorkshire ladies tend to do their Christmas shopping in Meadowall and generally have to take out money to pay for it. Also, women tend to take part in competitions, for example, the Win Your Christmas because it's really interactive. And also, if they are confident enough to ring in, they will have a good chance of winning. The prize from Helen FM. Other more interactive attributes in the content of Big John at Breakfast include the discussion topics, box parts and interviews. These contribute to a collective public voice. The presenters generally discuss something light-hearted and topical, such as the results of Britain's Got Talent, instead of a heavy political debate. This is because the audience are more likely to be interested in entertainment programmes as they are looking for escapism in order to relax. For example, Splash is coming back, the first contestants have been revealed and everyone's talking about last night's X Factor. If you missed it, something quite unusual happened and we'll share it with you next on Hallam FM after the news. The presenters discuss the entertainment programmes to keep the listeners engaged with the show. Some of the discussion topics, such as Best Christmas Ever, which was featured in the extract, call upon the audience to recollect memories in order to contribute to the show. The audience enjoys listening to them as they are generally quite funny. So this leads us on to the jingles. Big John at Breakfast uses a variety of different jingles to notify the listeners about what radio station they're listening to, which show they're listening to, and what sections of the show are coming up next. For example, during the Big John at Breakfast extract, this is repeated several times to reinforce the fact that the listeners are tuning into the station. The Big John at Breakfast jingle, this is played less often as the show is generally introduced by Big John and Dot. Jingles are used to interject between sections of the show to indicate what items are coming up next. These include the Hallam FM traffic report jingle. The hottest showbiz headlines. And the three day moves jingle. These jingles are really successful because they are repetitive and memorable. These are effective because they encourage the listeners to keep listening to the show. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the rest of our website. Bye! Bye.